Are you tired of the violence? Tired of the injustice? Police brutality, rampant discrimination, lack of gun control in this failed by a socioeconomic experiment called America? Or maybe you need a break from the relentless grind and want to regain control of your destiny, your wealth, your health, and your purpose. Diversifiedgame.com has the right course for you. Prepare for my first trip to Africa. Looking to reconnect with your roots, start a new business, or just a fresh start. Africa, AKA the motherland is waiting. Don't let the Chinese and the Mazungus have the fun and also take over the motherland. From Cairo to Mombasa, from Dakar to Cape Town, Africa has something for everyone from business opportunities to the most amazing people, safety, leisure, and landscapes. The opportunities abound. It is time for the diaspora to reconnect with their roots. Time to reconnect with the birthplace of humanity. Africa is the last frontier. Get your head in the game and reclaim your legacy. The writing is on the wall. Babylon is falling. Give up the stress, grind and violence inflicted on our people on this continent and prepare for a journey of restoration and joy by connecting with the land of your ancestors. Check out our new course and kick off your adventure at diversifygame.com. It's me, Demetra K. of the Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel and the African Diaspora News Insider. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So on October 2nd, 2016, Brandon Ingram was electrocuted while working at a Frito-Lay plant in St. Louis, Missouri. He said he was going about his everyday routine and he pressed a button to a dot door and it electrocuted him. Now he also said that while on the way to the free, uh, the hospital rather, they passed by four hospitals in order to take him to the one that they wanted to take him to. And while he was there, the staff said, you know what, you're fine to go back to work tomorrow. And he knew that wasn't the case because he was injured. In fact, he had two herniated discs and a pinched nerve. And so he asked Frito-Lay if he can have some time off and they told him no. And he had to end up using his sick time and throughout, throughout that process, he ended up losing his health insurance and a whole host of things. And he said this happened. They require you to go to the doctor so many times. And the doctor has to say that you're in this condition over and over and over. But guess what? You don't have any insurance anymore through PepsiCo slash Frito-Lay because they cut you off. I had to pay for that out of pocket too. <laughs> Didn't have the money to do that. So guess what? I borrowed money or used credit cards or whatever I could. I even took money out of my kids. Even. So there in a video by a more perfect union, he, you know, was crying because he had to go into his children's piggy bank to make ends meet. Now, finally, he was able to get long term uh, disability through Frito-Lay. But again, he went through a whole lot of stuff, and but he ended up having to file a lawsuit because Frito-Lay is denying that they're responsible for his injuries. And so his wife said um, that they had to take the children out of school to homeschool them because they, being Frito-Lay, have begun to follow them around and take surveillance of them, basically trying to trip Brandon up and to prove that he's lying, that he's not really injured, right? You know how they usually try to catch people, you know, diving into a pool and all that kind of stuff. But that's not the case with Brandon. And so Melissa says that, you know, they're very afraid because they don't know who has their address at this point. And so, um, again, Brandon has filed a lawsuit and I hope that he is successful. And they've also started a GoFundMe to help with, you know, the expenses that they have um, incurred. And so they ha now have $140,000 raised to help them. So again, y'all, I hope that he is very successful in the lawsuit against Frito-Lay. And I would just say, personally, I used to work there and I ended up injuring myself and it took them a long time to help me as well. And so I know that he is telling the truth. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. I'm Don with the law office of Don R. Dennis Jr. My office helps businesses that are involved in complex business deals. The issue is this when you sign an agreement. Are there adequate protections? 
to help you in the event things don't go as planned? And do you comprehensively understand all the terms in the agreement? As an engineer, experienced attorney, and certified privacy professional, I've seen all types of agreements. My office's motto is engage diligence because I believe clients have the right to a responsive attorney that has the same energy for them from the beginning until the end. If you're looking for an attorney that's going to fight for you and not with you on your matter, contact my office at 213-455-0880. Hello everyone, please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.